Hey, welcome to Slay the Spire. We're playing the daily challenge for January 21st, 2021. The character of the Ironclad and the modifier star Chimera, your starting deck is a fusion of all characters. Order, whenever you add a card to your deck, add two additional copies. You can only remove cards from your deck at the merchant. And binary card rewards contain only two cards. So I see we're playing with 1585. That's a really good score. I'm guessing a lot of collector bonuses. So that's that that is going to be the goal for today. Alright, and then with the Chimera deck, I start off with one card from each class, which is the Eruption for the Watcher, and then Zap, Survivor, Bash for Defect, Silent, and the Ironclad. So, let me see. The Eruption is, of course, going to be a problem if I can't get any more cards that allow me to exit Wrath. Although, I do have the Slime Boss, so I think I'll keep it for now. Uh, wait, actually, with Hoarder, I can no longer remove cards anyway, so yeah, I don't think I'll be able to remove it even if I wanted to. In terms of Elites, I... Th Think. Yeah, only two elite paths. If I go on the right, uh, let me count the question marks. So I'll get potentially an early shop and then one, two, just three question marks. If I stick on the left, yeah, there's no three elite path. If I stick on the left, that's three, four, plus two shops. Actually, no, if I go this way, it'll be four without the extra shop, which I might appreciate. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So I'll go this way for the three early question marks and then I'll have to go to that shop. Alright, so, uh, 11 incoming, let's just double defend and strike. Yeah, the, the opening few fights might be a little tough until I actually get some nice cards going with Hoarder. Do I want to do Eruption? Yeah, it's a little dangerous, but, um, yeah, fine, let's do it. I don't want to, I don't want this fight to take too long. Let's just, I need to draw two attacks. I did not draw two attacks, fine. So let's just fully defend then. Okay. I'll take 2 HP damage. That's acceptable, especially if I heal uh, heal most of it back. All of it, actually. We've got a Weakness Potion. Burning Cap Whirlwind. 3 copies of Whirlwind is not a bad idea. Burning Pack would be better if I had extra energy. Let's go with the Whirlwind. Also, let me sort my deck A to Z right away, just so I can try to get collector bonuses. Well, I could remove the um, Whirlwind, uh, not the Whirlwind, the uh, Eruption, but I actually think I'll keep it. Yeah, let's just leave. I don't think I need anything here. Okay, and then uh, the deck is still small and getting this many curses early on might be a problem, but I have to take it. Let's do it. Got Regret as well as Backup Preparation as you start each combat. Draw two additional cards. Very useful. And then, yeah, sadly this shop Ori would have been actually great with the Order modifier. I don't think I ever had that together, but yeah, I can't do with it. Uh, uh, luckily, though, there are some good cards I can take. Panic Button is my favorite, but you know, should I just do Arm and Panic Button? That might be what I need here. Yeah, let's do Armament and then Panic Button. It's going to be very difficult to get a Collector Bonus on Panic Button, but uh, it is such a great card that I am willing to risk it. And then, hang on, is there no difference between going this way and going this way? There isn't, right? One rest side question mark in both cases, okay. Alright, there's Curse number 2. Uh, yeah, 25 cards and 6 Curses already, but fine. Got, as well as uh, the Golden Idol, enemies drop 25% more gold. Okay, what to upgrade first? Uh, probably, uh, yeah, I should actually, either the armaments or the whirlwinds. I'm just worried about about the upcoming elite, so let's get the whirlwinds upgraded. Okay. Hopefully I'll be able to get some good cards to counteract some of the curses I have. Actually, 24 is not enough. If I do eruption, it'll be 16. That's not enough either. Um, Alright, let's do survivor, get rid of the regret, and then whirlwind. Okay. And then a second whirlwind should be enough. All right. Okay, Iron Wave Perfected Strike. I mean, a Perfected Strike deck would really work here, even though I don't have that many strikes, but I'm sure I'll get more, so let's take it. Okay. All right, got the Lice here. Um, I can not kill both, uh, but I can do Perfected Strike on a regular strike. Okay. A bunch of damage from the, from the Regrets. Nine incoming, uh, that's enough. Okay. All right, Dropkick Body Slam. I don't have it. Well, I guess I have the Bash, but that's not really the best source of vulnerability. But then again, I also don't need Body Slam. Let's go with the Dropkick then. Okay, the Boot, whenever you deal 4 or less unlocked attack damage, increase it to 5. Okay. And then Grillman Knob. I might have to... Oof. Yeah, I think I have to do Eruption here, right? Yeah, let's do Eruption. I just don't see a way... I would need to draw a Perfected Strike and... Uh, no difference between these. Yeah, I don't see a way I can perfect this one. 12 incoming. Yeah, this is just 30 block. Uh, if I wasn't in Wrath, would I have been able to fully defend here? Yes, actually, if I double armamented. Uh, let me do one. Okay. 
And then let me see if I could have perfected. Yeah, and then this turn I would have to kill, which I could. Yeah, so it would have been possible if I didn't enter Wrath, actually. But too late for that. We got Ekabiko. Your first attack each combat deals 8 additional damage. Very nice for all the whirlwinds I have. And then I'll... Ooh. It might be... Maybe I should go for Brutality. Popper is going to be difficult because A, I might get feed, and B, I might get some collector bonuses out of that. Twin Strike would make the perfected strike stronger, but I'm actually thinking brutality for extra card draw. Let's take it. If I get a rare card offer, I should take it. And then here, I think I'll go on this path just so that I avoid another shop just because I don't have enough gold just yet. So yeah, actually, any point here will give me one question mark. I guess this path also gives me a shop. Which I, actually, if I stick on the right, I won't even get an extra rest site. That might be better. All right, this kills everybody, right? With Ekabiko. Perfect. All right, got a Blessing of the Forge, Bloodletting or Headbutt. Um, bloodletting is not a bad idea. Headbutt might be better, though. Let's do Headbutt. All right, the sentries might be difficult. So this is 13 times 3 is 39 damage. That's not going to be enough to kill this guy unless I drink the Blessing of the Forge. Now it's enough. Okay. All right, I got single. When adding cards into your deck, you may raise your max HP by two instead. That's probably not going to happen. I don't really have strength, so I'm not sure if Heavy Blade is worth it. Let's go with the Intimidate. Okay. And then here, I mean, sure, why not? Let's take even more Curses. We got three copies of Doubt. So I have nine Curses at this point. Okay, let's do Perfected Strike. Headbutt. And then um, I'll play the panic button and uh, hope I can kill most of them. I just need a um, whirlwind. That's all I need. Mm, yeah, I guess worst case scenario, I had uh, I knew I had another perfected strike. So let's do that and then headbutt one more. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm okay taking a little bit of damage here. And then whirlwind kills. Good. Okay, Hemokinesis, Warcry. Warcry is fine, but let's go with Hemokinesis. I do want to make sure I have enough damage. And let me upgrade. I haven't seen any of the Brutality set, right? Let's upgrade one of those. Okay. All right, Slime Boss. I feel like I should be good against this guy, right? Especially if I enter Wrath. Uh, so let's do Brutality. Actually, I can double up on the Brutality. Uh, I can't do Eruption Perfected... Or, well, I would like to do Headbutt Perfected Strike, but I think it's important that I enter Wrath first. Let's do Eruption, and, um, yeah, fine, I'll do Headbutt, okay. Alright, Perfected Strike, so you'll split, it's 70, um, so Perfected Strike is too much, so I think I'll just do Eruption and Drop Kick, and then I'll try to split him next turn, okay, hopefully I'll be able to, uh, yeah, this is actually pretty good, um, I can do Perfected Strike, and then... I sort of expected more, actually. Yeah, it's a little dangerous if I don't draw any good AoE. Although, I just need 14 damage to split. Oh, uh, whirlwind works. Okay. Yeah, perfect the one lead and one boss. I could have perfected the Gremlin knob as well. And there is a collector bonus. Let's take it. Okay. All right, Sneko is interesting for the card draw, but I do have... I just picked up six zero-cost cards, right? And other than that, I don't have a lot of high-cost cards. It's just the perfected strikes, pretty much. Uh, that are... Well, and the one eruption. Although the Ironclad does have access to a lot of good high-cost cards, so... Yeah, I think the extra card draw is going to be the best feature of Sneko Eye, but I do already have one Brutality, upgraded Brutality, I'm hoping to pick up more. So the question is if I want to go down that path or if I want to just rely on the Brutalities. I think I'll try to get by without it. I think I'll go with the Sacred Bark instead. Double the effectiveness of potions. Effectiveness of potions. Yeah, I, I do wonder if the Sneko Eye would have given me a better event. I mean, it's it's hard to predict, right? Because Sneko Eye is so random. But I will try it this way. All right, two elite paths, both early elites. And yeah, there's a path with three question marks before these two. And then the second elite. And after that, another two question marks, okay? Oh, did I take the wrong path? Oh, I took the wrong path. Uh, that was a mistake. I skipped the question mark accidentally. Ugh, I hope that's not gonna impact my score too much. Let's get all of them to the ground. I'm not even sure if I want to play the... Oh, uh, let's do Brutality here. Both of them, actually. Okay. Yeah, I can't believe I skipped the question mark room. Especially on Act 2, they might give me apparitions or bites. Uh, that, that might have been a pretty big deal, actually. Let's do Headbutt, and then... Um, I'll do Hemokinesis, that's fine. Okay. Got Distilled Chaos and a Collector Bonus for Hemokinesis, sure. 
Mm, yeah, that was that was definitely a mistake. Could have been a question mark room instead here. Uh, let's do whirlwind. I probably want actually. Well, maybe I should just take the damage. Well, I guess it's too late now. I don't think I'll do panic button because um, I would save 12 HP here, but then lose 18 because I wouldn't be able to fully defend. Uh, let's do perfected strike and then headbutt the perfected strike. Okay. I should have defended in that first turn. I'm not sure why I got so excited and just took a bunch of damage. No good reason for that. Um, yeah, the perfected strike is not powerful yet, so I'm not sure why I... You know what? Let me drink the distal chaos. Oh, right. With Sacred Bark, it plays six cards. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay. None of those cards were amazing, but I think I can kill here, right? Okay. I right, got a power potion. Yep, collector bonus for perfected strike. Very good. Okay, snake plant. 21 incoming. I might throw the weakness potion here. Okay. And then let's do brutality, defend. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll do hemokinesis. And a regular strike. I don't want to do a second hemokinesis. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfected strike, headbutt. That should allow me to kill next turn. Okay. Barely. Yep. Alright, we got an Entropic Brew. Very nice. Second Wind, Dark Embrace. I don't have any of these, and I'm not... Actually, Second Wind might not be a bad idea because I have so many curses. Let's take it. Okay. I definitely don't want to lose the Entropic Brew. I'm okay losing one of the armaments. Let's, take, let's do that. And we got Tungsten Rod. Very nice. Whenever you lose HP, lose one less. Okay. Makes the curses a little easier to deal with. Alright, Sneko. So let's do Brutality, Intimidate. Um... I probably don't want to headbutt anything. Let's just do headbutt first, then hemokinesis and strike. Okay. Alright, eight incoming. Whirlwind is nowhere near enough. Uh, probably don't want to do eruption either. Yeah, I might have a trouble defending here. Um, do I want to do hemokinesis? That's 15. No, let's just do whirlwind. Okay. Another 12. Uh, I might do Panic Button because I feel confident I should be able to kill. Yeah, especially if I can headbutt the Perfected Strike. Okay. And, ooh, hang on. Wow. Wow, this is unlucky. Yeah, I forgot that would be weakened because of the doubt. Um, yeah, I guess I'll see if I can get something out of this. Um... Wow, this is bad. I'll I'll be dead next turn too, right? Because I have brutality. I mean, let me see. Regen potion, cultist potion, liquid bronze would be enough. Yeah, fine. Uh, that was a very unfortunate turn there. Okay, I have to find a fight where I can use the regen potion. Feel no pain, havoc. Uh, do I exhaust enough cards? Not really. Feel no pain is generally very powerful, but in this case, it might not be. Let's go with the Havoc first. Oh, now I have two elites. This might be this might be problematic. Yeah, let me drink the Regen Potion and the Cultist Potion, but I'm just worried I might not be able to survive, survive this turn. Um, yeah, I don't think there's much I can do here. Well, the best I can do is a Perfected Strike, and that's pretty much it. Second win, I guess, in terms of block. Hang on, is that enough? I didn't do the math. Actually, that might be enough. All right. And then 19. Let's do armament. I have to armament the defend, right? Okay, then brutality might just kill me too, right? I have to be a little careful. Okay. Um, you know what? Actually, no. Brutality is fine because I have the tungsten rod, right? Okay. Now, next turn, I won't be able to play any attacks. And I have 27 incoming. Panic button. I mean, that might be the only thing that saves me here. So, yeah, let's just do Brutality and Panic Button. Okay. Mm -hmm. The next turn I won't be able to play uh, any or gain any block. Okay, let's do Intimidate. Okay, what is that? 15, 20 incoming. Well, at least I'm not dead. That's good. Um... Okay, let's do... Well, I can kill one of them. He can use a strike. And uh, I probably don't want to do a second brutality. That might be a little too much. Okay, the Sacred Bark is actually allowing me to stay alive because it's giving me so much regen. 
And then whirlwind is not. Hang on. I should definitely do second wind first. Okay. Gives me a nice amount of block and then whirlwind. All right. Okay. I could do. No, another panic button is too much, right? Let's see what the Havoc plays. Eruption. That was the worst thing that it could have played. Oof. All right. Let's do Intimidate. Um, let's do another Havoc. I can't get much worse than that. All right. Kill this guy. And then do Panic Button. Okay. I hope I can deal 19 damage somewhere. Okay. Wait. Why am I doing 34 damage? Oh, right. Because I have so much um, strength. All right, fine, fine. I'm still alive. We got the courier. The merchant restocks cards, relics, and potions, and all prices are reduced by 20%. That's really great for a hoarder run. Let's take a shrug it off for some much needed defense. All right, shell parasite and fungi beast. 16 incoming. Let me try to not take too much damage. So um, let's do perfected strike, brutality, and uh, I'll hope Havoc gives me some block. Zap, fine. Well, not exactly the block I was looking for. Okay. That's a lot incoming. Let's do Intimidate. Defend. I... Am I dead here? I think I might be dead here. So this guy will deal 12 damage. And then the backline will deal 3. So that's 13 total. Uh, sorry. 15 total. And I only have 14 block. Oh, and then I'll take some damage from the Regret, right? Yeah, let me reload just to see if I can salvage this run. But, but I might have to start over. I do wonder if... Well, actually, I'm not sure... At the beginning of Act 2, uh, there was one fight where I took a lot of damage. Although, if I fix that run, it's going to improve my strategy. But I don't think it's going to really change much. Uh, let me try this. Kill this guy. And then headbutt the uh, Perfected Strike. And I'll do one Brutality. Okay. Alright, 27. Yeah, I don't think that changes much either. 24, Strike. Okay, I'll try one more time. But I think I'll call this uh, a game. And I'll, I'll restart again. Uh, with one more attempt, I'll restart again and um, I'll be back in the same fight, hopefully with way more max HP, with way more actual HP. That, that'll be the goal. Alright, I think I'll continue recording from this point, uh, just because the event was different. So last time I was offered to lose an armament, now I'm offered to lose a Brutality, which I still think is fine, because I still have a collective bonus for Brutality. So let's lose it. I still got Tungsten Rod, which is nice. Okay, so this fight, I think last time I lost a lot of HP, and this time... I was going to say I should be a little careful, but alright, it doesn't look like that's super possible. Let's do Brutality and then Whirlwind, okay. Mm-hmm. I had 10 incoming. Uh, yeah, I think last time I might have played the panic button and then I regretted it. So let's not do that this time. Let's do zap, drop kick, and then headbutt. Uh, maybe another. I can't really decide here. Let's go whirlwind then. Okay, I'll take 10 HP here. Ugh. But I thought last time I had a chance to take less damage, but it doesn't look like that's really possible here. At least I can do armament the whirlwind. All right. Okay. Another 12. Yeah, maybe my deck is just too offensive. It doesn't have enough defensive cards. Maybe that's what it is. Okay. Yeah, down to 40 HP. I'm not super happy about that. And then I have 18 incoming. Let me use the Distill Chaos here. Okay, I saw an eruption in there. That should, I think, allow me to kill. Actually, yeah, the eruption kills. Wait, was it? Oh, yeah, I did get an eruption. Okay, let's just kill this way. All right, good. 47, that's not bad. We got a power potion. Also note that I kept the Blessing of the Forge because uh, the card was different. So that's an extra potion I have. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's continue with the Collective Strike on the Perfected Strikes. Okay, so Snake Plant. I also lost a bunch of HP. Yeah, the attack pattern is different now. He's not attacking the first turn, which is interesting. All right, Whirlwind or Perfected Strike. Let's do Perfected Strike and Headbutt. Okay, and then I'll do another Brutality, sure. All right, 21 incoming. I can't do... Yeah, Perfected Strike alone is not enough with the Eruption. So I think I'll... Actually, I have the Panic Button. Yeah, this is exactly why I love Panic Button. Uh, so let's do Perfected Strike, Hemokinesis, and then I'll do Panic Button. 
Okay, and then I should be able to kill. 13 damage seems very doable next turn. Uh, I thought it was very doable. Is it very doable? Yeah, I think if I do Hemokinesis and then a Strike, that should be enough. Just barely. All right. We got an Entropic Brew, which... Okay, well, now I have to get rid of one of them. Let me get rid of the Blessing of the Forge. I didn't have that in the last playthrough, and I'll continue with the Second Wind. Okay. And then... Oh, this is a different event. Oh, yeah, because I went for a different event here, right? Or I had one extra event this way. Okay, fine. So, remove a card or upgrade all strikes and defense. I only have a few strikes or defense. Is there anything I want to remove? I mean, I could remove a curse, maybe? Yeah, I don't think card upgrades are that important. Actually, maybe getting the defense upgrade is nice. Tough choice. Let's remove a, a regret. I think the regret are a little more annoying than the unupgraded strikes and defense. Okay, and here... Oh, last time I didn't have a, a whirlwind offered in the first hand. Well, sadly, that doesn't kill anything, actually, but... Actually, it gets really close to some of them, but no, it's not enough. Uh, and there's nothing else I can do, right? Yeah, let's do whirlwind. I wonder if I should drink the potions, try to draw... I don't remember what the Entropy Brew gave me, but it wasn't... I think it's fine. I think I'll accept the damage here. Yeah, I think that's fine. Uh, obviously, I won't be able to perfect, so let me keep the potions for the next Elite fight. Okay, so here, let's do Intimidate. And then I can do... Drop Kick. And uh, Thinking of Hemokinesis and Defend. Let's do that. Yeah, Defend and Hemokinesis, I think. Okay. Oh, I guess I got a regen potion from the Tropic Brew last time, right? Uh, can I kill here? No. Uh, let's instead just do Dropkick and Second Wind. Okay. And the next one I should be able to kill. Alright, this wind, I mean, I was obviously wasn't able to perfect, but this went way better than the last time. Alright, we got the Courier again. The Merchant restocks Card Selects and Potions, and all prices are reduced by 20%. And I'll continue with the Havoc. So, so far, I think the runs are identical. Well, with some slightly different card choices there. Uh, we got Whirlwind and Brutality. Okay. Maybe I should drink the Eutropic Brew? Oh, hang on. Let's let's figure out how this goes. Uh, wow. Yeah, I think here I'll drink it just because my hand is so bad and I'll take a lot of damage. Let me drink the Feel No Pain, although I don't really discard anything, but fine. I could actually gain some block by playing the Intimidate, right? Let me do this. Oh, I didn't get uh, a regen potion this time. All right, fine. I'll do the Intimidate just for block. Okay. Hmm. Another 11. I also noticed that the attack pattern of this guy is a little different. Let's do Perfected Strike Headbutt. The Perfected Strike. Okay. Hmm. And then another 6. Um, well, I have a free drop kick here. Plus the Whirlwind is enough. Good. Okay. So, Wild Strike Shrug it off. Let's take that. Okay. Here's where I died last time, right? Wait. Is this? Hang on. Did I get here? I don't remember. Anyway, let's just move on. All right, so an opening hand whirlwind is nice, and then a panic button because he's guaranteed to not attack the next turn. Yeah, that's perfect. Let's do whirlwind, mm -hmm. and then I'll do one brutality and a panic button. Okay, this is again one of the reasons I love panic buttons so much. Okay, so let's. Um, I mean, I could upgrade and intimidate so that he's weakened next turn. I am sadly also weakened for two turns. Let me actually drink the swift potion. Ooh, do I want to do Eruption? That's a little dangerous, but I think I'll risk it. So let's do Intimidate. And then I'll just do Eruption. Let's do Brutality too. With Eruption, card draw is very important. Uh, luckily, he's not attacking. I was sort of hoping for another a Whirlwind. I didn't get that. Uh, so I can kill one of them with the Hemokinesis. Okay, and then Headbutt is not enough. I have to sort of waste the Perfected Strike. Let me see what the Havoc plays. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. All right, let's just shrug it off. I guess one of them stays alive. And I hope that doesn't mean that the Backliner will attack me, because I'll be in a bad spot. Yep, he is attacking me. Okay. The so Whirlwind is nowhere near enough. Perfected Strike is not enough either. Hang on. This is 50-70. Yeah, I'm not super close, but... Well, I got Panic Button, but that's not... Hang on, is that going to be enough? 39? Well, I won't die, so that's a good news. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. Oh, actually, I will die in two turns if I can't kill. Uh, let's do Havoc. Okay, and then Strike Dropkick. All right. 
And then if I can't kill this turn, I'm dead. Uh, this is uh, 3 times 18 is 54. That should be enough, right? Yeah. All right, that was a close one, actually. We got Bronze Scale, Sage Combo, Three Thorns, as well as Flame Barrier is pretty good. Fire Breathing, I do have a good amount of curses, but not that many. Let's go with the Flame Barrier. I desperately need defense. All right, and then no more elites on this act, right? Yep. Okay, I've got Happy Fire. Every three turns, get extra energy. And then, did I go on the right path? Yes. Okay. So, actually, no. You know what? I think I'll rest here, just because I am a little worried about my HP situation. And out of so many cards, getting one or two extra upgrades is not going to make a big difference. I think I'll transform. I already have enough curses, right? So let's transform just cards I don't really want that many copies of. So one of them was... Maybe I should just transform basic strikes and defense. Yeah, let's transform basic strikes, actually. Oh, I got emulate and havoc. So that gives me a collector bonus for havoc. Let me also... Wait, this is still sorted. And then emulate is actually pretty good. Okay. Um, all right, I probably don't need to rest again. Uh, let's next upgrade. Probably don't want a second brutality upgraded, right? Should I upgrade the perfected strikes? No, I think I'll upgrade the uh, armaments at this point. Or is it? Uh, it's up here, yeah. Just because they will upgrade everything else too. Yeah. All right, and then uh, let's do a question mark before the uh, regular fight. Uh, sure, why not? The more curses, the better. We've got Horncleat at the start of your second turn, gained 14 block. I'm really just hoping for a Duvaldal at this point. I have so many curses. Okay, so... Oh, wait, this is the fight I died to? Hang on, I'm really confused. How do I get through the last, uh, through the, the other boss fight? Oh, the events were different. I think instead of... No, I'm really confused. It's fine, it's fine. I, I moved on. Yeah, this is the fight I wasn't able to, uh, complete last time. All right, let's do Armament, the Perfected Strike, to deal 35 damage, and then I'll do the Brutality, okay. okay. All right, uh, here luckily I have some block. Let's do Whirlwind, or should I do Perfected Strike first? Yeah, let me do Perfected Strike and then Whirlwind. Okay. okay. And then another 18. Uh, sadly, Whirlwind is not going to be enough, and I'm weakened too. Let's do Emulate. Okay. Intimidate. Oh, it's 27 now. I did not notice. Hang on. I think I won't be able to... Hang on. 5, 11 is 16. I'm one short, right? Let me see what the Colors Potion gives me. Hand of Greed is nice. Two of them is even nicer. All right. Okay. Thunderclap, Twin Strike. Now I think I'll take a, a Strike card just to make the Perfected Strikes a little stronger. And uh, who's my final boss? Collector. Okay, fine. I'll risk it without resting. Let's bring it on. Again, I think I'll upgrade the second brutality at this point because the uh, boss doesn't attack on the first turn and uh, card draw might be more important than ever. So yeah, this is an example of me not being able to play the corruption or eruption. Sorry. Let's see what Havoc gives. Hemokinesis. Okay. And then might as well upgrade the strike before playing it. And I'll drink this away uh, as well because I am worried. All right. Everybody's attacking me. Luckily, I have... Well, one emulator is not going to be enough, so it's 32. At least I'm not dead, but I'm not in a great spot either. Let's do emulate and then headbutt the emulate again, although next turn I'll be weakened. I did not account for that. Okay. All right, luckily the backline is not attacking. That's good. Um, so let's do emulate, play havoc, bash. That's actually really good. Okay. I'll die in five turns if I don't take any damage because of the brutalities, right? So let's do drop kick, twin strike. Okay, and then emulate. Sure. Okay. Mm, he is attacking, and this is going to be really tough. Yeah, I don't think there's much I can do. I definitely can't kill. I am weakened. I'm going to take damage from the regret. And yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do. Okay. So clearly I am unable to perfect this one or not even perfect, survive this one. So I think what I'll do is I'll replay everything. But instead of taking the Sacred Bark, I think I'll go for the Snake Eye. I think that might make a difference. Yeah, let me try that again. And I'll speed this up and I'll be back probably with the Act 2 boss. So you don't have to rewatch Act 2 for the third time. So I'll be right back.
Okay, so I'm back. I did everything almost, actually no, almost everything the same. I didn't do everything the same. So one big difference is that I didn't take the Regret Curse. Now, uh, that was offered at the very beginning in exchange for a Relic or for Max HP. I went with the Max HP because I knew I was going to get so many other Curses, uh, which is sort of cheating, right? Because I'm using the information I got later to influence what my decisions. But instead, because of that, actually, later I got Whetstone. I don't remember what Relic I got in the first run through, but I do remember it wasn't Whetstone. It was something else at the beginning here but uh, it must have been something not super important because you know obviously uh, I did pretty well so far so I'm at 48 HP I didn't have to rest that often and the Sneko has been reasonably good sometimes I got unlucky but usually it's been pretty helpful all right so let's try this one I think in this case I will drink the power potion here let me first free up my hand so let's do the perfected strike then the power potion uh, an early demon form I mean yeah sure I don't think I'll need combust actually combust might be good because I have the tungsten rod it might be good to deal with the minions yeah, Demon Form will take a little too long to become useful. Let's take it. Oh, and because of Sacred Bark, I don't get two copies. Never mind. All right. And then let's throw the uh, Weakness Potion and drink the Entropic Brew. I'll drink the Cultist Potion. And then this gives me... Uh, I don't think I need any of these, actually. Maybe Panacea? Yeah, not a big fan. But maybe I should do Panacea. Just so I can then easily do Panic Button if I have to. All right. And I'll do Hemokinesis. Okay. Not the best start, but it, it will do. Okay, so 27 incoming. Uh, let's see. I do have a twin strike here and a free drop cake. I don't think that's going to be enough. Yeah, so clearly I can perfect. Let me see if I can... Hang on, let me kill one of them. Let me see if I can at least survive this one. I, I think I'm giving up on the idea of perfecting. But survival might be possible with this deck. Okay, so 7. I think I'll keep this guy alive. Let's do Perfected Strike and a Regular Strike. Two Regular Strikes, actually. I could have done the Hemokinesis instead. That might have been a mistake. Okay. All right, he's not attacking. Good. Let's do Flame Barrier, Perfected Strike, and a Regular Strike again. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I hope he'll summon. Nope, he is attacking. All right. Uh, so let's do... Let's upgrade. How would that be? Second wind will give me a little bit of block. Maybe I'll upgrade that. Okay. And then let's do emulate. Okay. And then second wind. All right. At least, yeah. That's a little bit of block, as I said. Okay. Now we're not getting attacked. Let's do bash a free drop kick. Okay. And then I could do havoc or let's do another emulate. Okay. I'm not that far away from being able to kill here. Just need a little bit extra. 36. Uh, hang on, is emulate gonna be enough? That's 30. Let me do headbutt first. Actually, yeah, I can do headbutt and then have it, right? Okay. All right, well, at least I, perf uh, I survived this one. I didn't perfect. I don't think I really had a chance of perfecting. Let's go with the corruption here. That'll be really good in such a large deck. And then here, because I have the innate brutality and... Well, actually, it's just a brutality. Runic Group might be nice. Uh, I would like extra energy, though. Let's go with the Slaver's Caller. During Boston Lead Combat's gain extra energy at start of your turn. I should be fine in terms of card draw because of the Snake Eye. All right, got the Awakened one at the end. With Courier, I would not I would definitely need to hit a shop here. Actually, no, there's a three lead path on the right with... Oh, look at that. Lots of question marks, but no guaranteed shop. Mm, that's unfortunate. I hope I'll hit one shop. Otherwise, be a lot of gold to go to waste. Okay, let's do Perfected Strike. Yeah, kill you. And then headbutt that back on top of my deck. All right. Um, um, 42, kill you. And then Twin Strike to kill. Nope, almost. Should I do him? He's just fine. I'll heal back up anyway. Okay. Got a Dex Potion. Swap Thunder Thunderclap. I don't really have strength. Let's go with the Thunderclap. I wonder if I should also... I need to get to at least 95 max HP to gain extra points, right? So I might consider that. Uh, let's do Thunderclap and then Hemokinesis. Okay. okay. 13. Perfected Strike and then I... Th oh, actually the Panic Button is not cheap. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is sort of an unlucky randomization here because I can't really play anything. Let's just do the Perfected Strike. I feel like I should be able to kill next turn. Hmm. Yep. All right. Burning Pact. Another Perfected Strike. Yep. That's a... Well, actually, it's more than a collector bonus, but it makes each of them better. Can I get a Mind Blast, please? Uh, nope. Nope. Although I'll probably take the Apotheosis and nope. Sadly, none of those. Yeah, I think I'll go with the Flash of... Oh, no. I have... Hmm. Should have... Well, 
I have these Neko Eyes, so Flash of Steel is not that great. Let's take the Apotheosis here. And I think this one I might skip. Let's just go for the max HP. Okay. Alright. Uh, I don't really want to lose any... You know what? I'm okay losing the Flash of Steel. Sure. And then I... Wait, did I mess up? No, I got... I'm on the right path. Okay. After this point... Well, let's let's fight this one first. Alright, got the Maw. And a free Apotheosis. That's nice. And a very cheap Corruption. Okay. I feel much better about this. Let's do Immolate Havoc. Okay. And then I don't think I need to play anything else. Yeah, the Corruption makes this much easier. Alright, upgrade everything. Then play the Havoc. Okay, and then I... Actually, he's unlikely to attack next turn, right? Let's just do Panic Button and then Hemokinesis. Okay. Yeah, I think he's guaranteed to not attack next turn. Alright, and then I can't do Thunderclap and Perfected Strike, so let's just do... Can't do Bash either. Alright, let's do Havoc first. It's a Whirlwind, okay. And then Perfected Strike, Headbutt. The Perfected Strike, okay. Alright, 28... Flame Barrier for free, Survivor for free, very nice. And then the Perfected Strike deals the most damage, okay. 24. Well, another, I mean, yeah, sure, why not? Let's do Shrug It Off. A free Perfected Strike. And, uh, yeah, I might take some damage here. Let's do Strike and Imkinesis. No, another Perfected Strike. Okay. And then here, this should kill, good. Alright, got a skill potion, true grid, shrug it off. Let's go for the collector bonus on shrug it off. And then here, if I go on the right, actually they're very similar paths, right? One rest side, one question mark. Uh, yeah, let's just go on the right then. Wait, and then after that point I have to stick on the right still. Uh, hopefully one of those question marks will be a shop. Okay, I'm not getting attacked this turn. Let's do, uh, it should be, yeah, I should get a corruption out as much as I don't really want to. Yeah, sort of wasted my opening hand, but I think having a corruption is very important. Okay, 18. Well, and then of course I get a hand like this, which doesn't help me in any way. Alright, um... Yeah, might as well apply vulnerability. Okay. Yeah, just got unlucky with the draw. I could have tried to drink the skill potion, but... I'm not sure if that would have been super useful. Let's do drop kick, Strike, Hemokinesis, and then probably just Twin Strike, Intimidate, and... Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Okay, another 18. So, Shrug It Off gives me Perfected Strike. Sadly, the enemy is intangible. So, maybe I'll just do Perfected Strike and Headbutt to get the Perfected Strike for next turn. Okay. And two free Perfected Strikes. Look at that. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what I played there. Yeah, that's enough to kill. Got Horn Cleat. Oh, yeah. I had that before, right? So, at the start of your second turn, gained 14 block. Yeah, I think I'm one relic behind. Now, I think I'll go for the True Grit. Okay. Yeah, this is distinctly not a shop. Uh, let's do Strike, Perfected Strike. I would like to get a Brutality out. Okay. Yeah. 40. So... Twin Strike, Perfected Strike, and I can play the Corruption. Very good. Okay. 15. Uh, Apotheosis is nice. A thunderclap. I'll probably headbutt the um, Perfected Strike, right? I had some. Okay. Oh, and then I can play it too. Nice. Okay. 16. Dropkick, sadly, is not useful. Perfected Strike, Dropkick, and uh, might as well... Well, should I take 4 damage or deal 2 damage back to myself? Let's just do the Hemokinesis. Okay. And then last turn, 52. Another Perfected Strike. Yeah, I think the Perfected Strikes are proving really useful. Okay. Could have, I think, ordered that differently to take uh, to deal more damage if I played the Bash before the Perfected Strike, of course. Burning Pack, Heavy Blade. Again, I don't have any Curse uh, or any Strength. Let's go with the Burning Pack here. Okay, next upgrade. Probably continuing upgrade the armaments. Okay. I should upgrade the Apotheosis instead. Got Happy Flower. Every three turns get extra energy. Okay. Actually, no, Apotheosis upgrade is going to be useless, right? Because it just saves me energy, even though I have Snake Wine. Alright, so let's do the Corruption. Yep. And then Brutality, Perfected Strike. 
flame barrier. Um, I should have played the double armaments first. Okay, and then I don't even need more block, right? Okay. Hmm. All right, can I deal 26 damage? Uh, well, a free apotheosis is nice. Um, let's do shrug it off. Intimidate, and then yeah, let's just do perfect the strike and twin strike. Okay. Hmm. okay. Both of these guys are gonna explode. Let me try to kill them quickly. Twin strike and perfect the strike does it, right? Okay. Alright, duplication potion, that's nice. Dual wield, pommel strike. Uh, I'll go with the pommel strike to make my perfected strike stronger. Okay, Reptomancer. Yeah, I sort of needed AoE in this particular turn. Uh, let I don't think there's anything I, good I can duplicate. Let me see what the skill potion gives me. Flame barrier might be nice. Shrug it off might be better. Let's take that. So let me upgrade that. Okay. Alright, well, there's an impossibly expensive apotheosis, which I don't think I can play. So instead, let's do... I can't even headbutt anything useful. Yeah, I guess I could headbutt a shrug it off, but... Actually, hang on. The hemokinesis kills one of them. Let's do that. Okay. Yeah, doesn't look promising, though. Right, that's a lot of incoming. Whirlwind at least kills the minion, but then I still have 19 incoming. And not much I can do. But yeah, I think that's my best path here. Let's do... Actually, 3 energy whirlwind is enough, right? Let's do twin strike... Hemokinesis, and then the whirlwind to come. All right. At least I have some block thanks to the home cleat. Okay, so here let's do thunderclap. Um, hang on, headbutt, and then I can play something basically for free with the havoc. I'm actually thinking that should be the apotheosis. Okay. Mm -hmm, Twenty-six. All right, free corruption. That's good. Let's do thunderclap and emulate. All right. And then um, I could do Panic Button, although I would like to avoid it. Let me see what the Flash of Steel gives me. Uh, yeah, fine. Let's do Panic Button because I feel confident I should be able to kill next turn. 13 damage seems very doable. Yep. Okay. We got Dr. Imperia. Whenever you obtain a Curse, increase your max should be by 6. A little too late for that. A second duplication push, and I already have enough Shrug it off, right? Um, where is it? Yeah. So let's take a Swarp Boomerang then. Okay. Oh, this is really lucky. Okay, I have a thousand gold and I probably won't be able to get to 25 relics. So I think instead I'll focus on cards. Um, let's take, sure, pummel, metallicize, heavy blade. I'll take fiend fire, although that was expensive. Got a collector bonus for headbutt. I'll take sentinel, collector bonus for that. Okay, war crime, collector bonus for that. And for true grit, I already have one for havoc, right? Let's go with the wild strike, collector bonus there. Both line. I already have one for human kinesis, right? This deck is really large at this point. Okay. Being it being very large makes it hard to perfect. Maybe I should focus on powers, even though I do have the awakened one at the end. Hmm. Is there anything I want in my opening hand? Any attacks? No, nothing super urgent. Yeah, fine. Let's go with Sever Soul. Alright, another perfected strike, another heavy blade. I think that's a collector bonus. I'll take Reaper. Swarp Remind is also a collector bonus, and there's a feat I can take. Okay, I think that was actually a really good turn here. Uh, let's take another shrug it off. Why not? Okay. All right, 159 cards. Uh, I think that that last shop gave me a few collector bonuses, which should improve my score at least. Ooh, pummel is 40 damage. Yeah, I should do that, right? Okay. Then do a uh, thunderclap, then perfected strike, twin strike, wild strike, and yeah, the skills. Nice. First turn kill. Not bad. At Sandal, every three times you shuffle a drop pile, gain two extra energy. They're very difficult with 159 cards. And I already have a, a collector bonus for board sword, sword boomerang and the yeah sword boomerang and the um, sentinel. So I don't need any of them. But you know what? Let's take the max HP. Although uh, it's a little too little too late with the max HP, but you know it's fine. Okay, another 40. Yeah, let's do pummel, heavy blade. It's just 22. Okay, so pummel. Um, let's see. Drop kick. Okay. And then uh, I'm not even sure what to headbutt. Probably, yeah, I don't think anything is super necessary to headbutt. Let's do uh, heavy blade. I mean, I'll, I'll headbutt the drop kick, sure. And then one more heavy blade. Okay. All right, 26. Uh, let's do whirlwind. And then I could play the sever soul. That's not enough to kill, but I have enough block anyway. Okay. 
And then here, let's just do Thunderclap Perfected Strike. Okay. All right, Evolve Bludgeon. I'll go with the Bludgeon, sure. And then Lost Upgrade, what would that be? And probably another Armament. I don't think there's anything urgently I need to upgrade out of 160 cards. Maybe another... No, no, I don't want to actually play the Brutality. I do want to play the Corruption, though. Yeah, that might be important. Let's do Corruption. Because now I can do fun stuff like Second Wind. Let's do Burning Pack first. Okay, probably don't need... Ooh, that's... No, oh, it's fine. I was going to say that's not the card I wanted to press, but I think it's okay. Let's see what the Havoc plays. Sentinel, great. Extra energy. Let's do Second Wind. Oh, that's actually not enough block. I thought that would be more. Uh, hang on. Let me reload real quick because I should have drank the Dex Potion way sooner. That might have been enough block too, right? Because it would have given me exactly six more block. Let me try to redo everything the same way I did, but with an extra Dex Potion in the beginning. Okay, so I think I did Corruption, then Burning Pack, the Bash by Accident, and then I did the Havoc. Okay, and then I did the second wind. Okay. Yeah, that gives me enough block. All right, and then with the six energy, let's do Pummel. Okay, Wild Strike almost kills this guy. And then Perfected Strike 87. I didn't realize I'm dealing that much damage. If the enemy is vulnerable, I can easily deal more than 100 damage with that um, uh, Perfected Strike. Okay, so there's a Fiend Fire. Let's do Shrug it off for free. I can't do Panic Button. Uh, and hang on, 27. So I'm not fully defended unless I kill one of the, well, both minions actually. So I think I have to do Wild Strike and Fiend Fire. I don't think. Oh, actually, yeah, that's not enough. Yeah, I don't think I could have done anything to. Well, yeah, I'm not sure if I could have done anything to perfect this one, but let's just try to survive here. Let's do Sentinel Defend. Okay, Warcry gives me a Twin Strike. Probably don't want to do the Brutality. Let's do. Yeah, Twin Strike, Perfected Strike, another Twin Strike, and Drop Kick. Yeah, at least, even if I perfect the last turn, this one is a turn I wouldn't have been able to perfect. Alright, Intimidate. Probably don't want to play the Brutality still. Okay, Pummel, Clothline. Alright. Okay. 15. Probably just, uh, hang on, let me do Fiend Fire first. Or, uh, Burning Pack, I mean. Yeah, let's do Flame Barrier, and then Fiend Fire. Upgrade everything, and then emulate and fiend fire. Okay. Hmm. Twenty. Uh, there's an apotheosis too, actually. I don't I really need them. All right, let's do heavy blade, perfected strike. Okay. I probably should put another perfected strike on top of my deck. All right. Okay, forty-one. Um, yeah, let's do Sentinel Flame Barrier. Yeah, too bad I can't... Wait, let me, let me do the uh, Duplication Potion here, okay. And then True Grid, at least I take less damage that way. And then uh, 14 versus 10, right? So the Pummel is not super useful. Let's do Twin Strike and um, Drop Kick. Okay. Another 19. I already played a Corruption, right? So let's just Shrug it off. Uh, Reaper, I mean, it's not going to help me much. Uh, let's do Metalicide, that might actually come in handy. And then uh, I'll put the Whirlwind back. Might be useful to play next turn. Okay. 33. Alright, Flame Barrier is good. Shrug it off is good. Intimidate is good. And then I can do Bludgeon, Perfected Strike. Oh, actually that was enough. Oh, did the Bludgeon? Wait, something built 126 damage. I wasn't paying attention to what that was. 1362, yeah, that's not such a great score out of the five elites. Oh, also, I should seven elites. Sorry, uh, I should mention that because of uh, slightly different cards, I wasn't able to perfect the elite on act one, but I was able to perfect another elite on act two. So it sort of evened out. But yeah, I was only able to perfect that one elite either on act one if you watch the first playthrough or on act two and if you watch the second one. And then the nemesis on act three, the very last elite fight. Those are the only two. And I obviously perfected the slime boss, but none of the others. I think most of my score just came from the collective bonuses in that very last shop 12th i think was pretty good but yeah other than that didn't even get overkill modifier yeah this was this was a tough run let's see uh so it was 13 something right i don't even remember my score but yeah I, it looks like a lot of people were able to get at least the 1400 and 1500 range with warpa being at 1585 i am thinking if maybe i should have just stuck with the strategy maybe this should have become a perfected strike deck or Actually, honestly, I don't know, because even if I picked up more defensive cards, I needed to draw them in the right turn, and that just became very difficult. 
So maybe I should have tried to go for the popper modifier, ignored the brutality, and just tried to pick up more strike cards. That might have been a solution, but yeah, this this one was a tough fight. I definitely didn't do well. Um, I mean, I had to run it three times to even get to the end. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you did. I, I'd be very interested to see uh, what I could have done or, or, you know, what a winning strategy looks like on today's daily. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.